Hi guys, みなさん、こんにちは。今日も JLPT の N5 の文法を一緒に勉強します。今日勉強するのは、何々時。何々時。In English, this is when something. Let's take a look at how to make a sentence. When you use a verb, you need the dictionary form of the verb plus toki. When you use an e adjective, just use the dictionary form plus toki. When you use a na adjective, use the na form plus toki. When you use a noun, you add no toki. No toki instead of just toki. This sentence structure is used to talk about when you do something. Let's take a look at example sentences. The first one is a verb sentence. Gakkoe iku toki aruite ikimasu. Gakkoe iku toki aruite ikimasu. I walk when I go to school. Kamino kwando boya la escuela. Eu ando quando vou para a escola. The verb here is iku to go, iku toki. So you don't need to conjugate iku. Iku toki. This sentence is describing daily routine. I walk when I go to school. Let's take a look at another one. Neru toki, denki wo keshimasu. Nerutoki, denki wo keshimasu. I turn off the lights when I go to bed. Apago las luces cuando me voy a la cama. El pago las luces cuando vo para la cama. The verb here is neru, neru to sleep. Nerutoki, nerutoki. So again, you don't need to conjugate neru. Just add toki, neru toki. So this also is describing daily routine. Neru toki, denki wo keshimasu. Here's the third sentence. Kaze wo hita toki, shigoto wo yasumu. Kaze wo hita toki, shigoto wo yasumu. I don't go to work when I catch a cold. No voy a trabajar cuando me des frío. El no voy a trabajar cuando pego un resfriado. The verb here is hiku. But here, as you may notice, hita, hita, hita toki. This is in the past tense. Hita toki. Here it's describing completion of the first task. So, what I mean by that is catch a cold first and then you take off from work. So, in English or in Espanol or in Portuguese,、uh, we use the present tense when I catch a cold or me resfrio o cuando pego un resfriado. But in Japanese, You have to use the past tense, hita toki. Let's take a look at these two different sentences. I'm going to explain the differences. Hea wo deru toki, ketai ga narimashita. Hea wo deru toki, ketai ga narimashita. So this means when I was leaving the room, my phone rang. So, you were leaving the room. So, you haven't really left the room yet. In English, two sentences tends to need to agree. So, if you were talking about the past, you have to use the past tense. When I was leaving the room, my phone rang. So, they're both in past tense. However, in Japanese, when we describe about something was happening, you still use the present tense. So let's take a look at the second sentence. Hea wo deta toki, ketai ga narimashita. Hea wo 
出た時携帯が鳴りました When I left the room, my phone rang. When I left the room, my phone rang. So in this case, 部屋を出た時 This is describing completion of the act of leaving the room. So when I left the room, so you had already left the room. So you are outside. My phone rang. So in this case, we use the past tense. 部屋を出た時携帯が鳴りました。Because this shows completion of the action of leaving the room. So in Japanese, if the first action already happened or the second action happens only after the first action occurs, then use the past tense in the first part of the sentence. Let me give you another example. 地震が起きた時机の下に隠れます地震が起きた時机の下に隠れます。I hide under the desk when there is an earthquake. Me escondo debajo del escritorio cuando hay un terremoto. El me escondo debajo de la mesa cuando hay un terremoto. The verb here is o k i r u o k i r u to happen. The past tense is 起きた起きた起きた時起きた時 So in this case, in English, we use the present tense when there is an earthquake. However, in Japanese, we use past tense. 起きた時起きた時 Because this is showing a completion of the first task. Because you don't hide under the desk unless there's an earthquake. So, earthquake happens and then you go under the table. So, in Japanese, you use the past tense to show that the first action completes and then the second action happens. So, it's not correct to say, 地震が起きるとき机の下に隠れます And then the previous sentence, 風をひくとき仕事を休む would be incorrect. You have to say, 風をひいたとき仕事を休む Here's an example of E adjective. 若いとき歌手をしていました。若いとき歌手をしていました。When I was young, I was a singer. Cuando era joven, era cantante. Cuando yo era joven, yo era cantora. E adjective here is wakai. Wakai means young. Wakai toki. Wakai toki. Here in English we say when I was young. When I was young, I was a singer. So you may say wakakata toki. Wakakatta toki. But in Japanese, the tense of two sentences do not need to agree. So you don't need to say wakakatta toki. You can just simply say wakai toki. When I'm young, wakai toki. Kashu wo shite imashita. Another example of E adjective. Atsui toki, mado wo akemasu. Atsui toki, Mado wo akemasu. When it's hot, I open the windows. Cuando hace calor, abro las ventanas. Cuando está quente, yo abro las janelas. The adjective here is atsui. Atsui means hot. Atsui toki. Atsui toki. Here's an example of na adjective sentence. Hima na toki, manga wo yomimasu. Hima na toki, manga wo yomimasu. I read some manga when I have spare time. 
Leo um pouco de manga quando tenho tempo livre. Eu leio um pouco de manga quando tenho tempo livre. Na adjetivez, himana. Himana. Himana toki. Himana toki. Hima means when you have spare time, or when you're bored, you have nothing to do. Hima na toki. Here's an example of noun sentence. Kodomo no toki, kaigai ni sunde imashita. Kodomo no toki, kaigai ni sunde imashita. I lived overseas when I was a kid. Vivia en el extranjero cuando era niño. Eu morava no exterior quando era criança. The noun here is kodomo. Kodomo means kid or child. Kodomo no toki. Remember when it's a noun, you need a no. Kodomo no toki. Ame no toki, kasa ga hichiyou desu. Ame no toki, kasa ga we need umbrellas when it rains. Necesitamos paraguas cuando llueve. Precisamos de guarda-chuvas cuando chove. The noun here is Ame. Ame no toki. Ame no toki. In English we say when it rains, but in Japanese you can say when it is rain. When it is rain. Ame no toki. Okay, let's review how to make a sentence one more time. When you use a verb, you need the dictionary form of the verb plus toki. When you use an e adjective, you need the e adjective plus toki. When you use a na adjective, you need the na form of the na adjective plus toki. When you use a noun, you need to put no in front of toki. So it becomes noun plus no toki. Hai, dou deshita ka wakarimashita ka? I think the use of nani nani toki could be a little bit complicated because you have to use past tense in certain cases. But you get the hang of it when you practice the sentence structure with different sentences. So come up with your own sentence and leave that in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. それじゃあまた